Well, God made man in woman with a Y. <laughs> and um, man, God or so God. you're just gonna let this happen? Well, I think she's trying to tell you. <laughs> she's <laughs> God or goddess made woman okay, or goddess. man. Okay, goddess, goddess made woman, god or goddess, universe made, ma okay, fuck it, it's, like, it's fine, we're moving on. The Indiegogo is happening, that's what's happening. <laughs> Yo, we have some money, we really need a lot more money. We do! But the campaign's really funny. It's if, hilarious. If you don't do anything, if you don't donate, I mean, please donate, we want your money. We do throw us some change. But like, at least watch the campaign videos because they're hilarious as shit. I think it's come to some of our best work. We sing, we dance, we, we tell uh, some controversial jokes. <laughs> know who our district is such an incubator for creative people, for like magic to be created. You have all of the dancers, you have the recording artists, you have the actors. I mean, there are six theaters on like the Lincolnshire and Magnolia, that block alone. Um, it really has become the arts district and you feel the energy of that. It's like very electric when you're in uh, North Hollywood. Like we're all just sort of like in the same space doing what it is that we love to do. Um, and it's great, it's really great because you're fueled constantly by passion, you're fueled constantly by the motivation of getting the work that you love done because you know everybody else around you is doing that and they're having a great time doing it too. Um, I just, I fucking love Noah. I, I honestly can't see myself living anywhere else for a little while, like I'm gonna be there for a little while. And I like that you can walk. Yes, oh my god, oh my god. I used to walk those streets in high school, not like that. We can speak for all millennial women, obviously, and no also one should anyone. Yeah, because you know we all have varying experiences, especially like being a black woman. You know, there are things that have been triggering for me um, over the last like you know couple of years, really, um, that uh, that have really come to light in terms of how we've behaved and behave as a society. So one of the struggles is like I, I really try and navigate these conversations uh, that I have with people that sometimes say things that can be offensive to me or to other people. That is really hard. It's so difficult. It's something we talk about a lot. It's in our show. I have a really hard time. Something happened last week and I felt like silenced as it was happening. And so it's something you have to practice um, and know that you are supported in doing it. So if no one's supporting you and speaking up for yourself or speaking up for other people, when someone says something, we, we are. You. We honestly are. I also think um, we're at a time when there's so many options in terms of like life path um, and in terms of how to help the world. <laughs> um, I think that can be really overwhelming. I mean, I don't have it figured out. I'm confused a lot and I have a hard time committing to things, but I, I suggest and I encourage millennial women to listen to what they're excited about, even if it's something weird or strange or whatever, just any little thing. If you're excited about it, that it's a part of your life path. It's a part of your future and your passion. So just dive into that as much as you can. It's the third thing that we can, some of us really kind of struggle with is like navigating our relationships as, as we relate to men in, in particular, especially at this time. I think that there is a, um, an overall a feminine energy that has really been, um, it's gotten the shitty end of the stick for yeah. a long time. <laughs> it's been put in a bathroom stall. Yeah, and, and we as women really personify that energy and so we get the brunt of that, you know, um, in a lot of ways. And I think we're really just trying to figure out how to be in a space with men where we feel safe, where we feel empowered, where we feel um, able to say no and to speak our mind. And that's like in, in negative situations and also in positive situations. Like, what do I do when I really, really, really like a guy? And I've been told all my life that men are the ones who are supposed to make the first move, but that just doesn't resonate with me anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Or it never resonated with me. And so I wanna say, hey guy, I like you, give me your number, or you know, whatever the fuck. And he might reject me, sure, but like at least let me take the opportunity to express how I feel. And so it's just like really finding our new normal as women, as feminine beings yeah. and creatures. I would love to say that I know there are a lot of people who want to do the work that we're doing or anything else um, and they're afraid and I just want to say do 
in spite of fear. You don't need a whole lot of things to do the things that you want to do. You think you do, but you don't. If you're waiting until you have this right equipment or, you know, the right clothing or, you know, this certain amount of money, if you're waiting for that, you're going to be waiting for your entire life because that is the vibration that you're putting out. So fucking move. The moment that you get an intuition hit to do something, the moment that you feel a sense of bliss come your way, do that thing that's going to bliss you out. And I guarantee you, yeah, fucking be blissed out. I guarantee you that all of the desires of your heart will begin to manifest as you move towards them. I think especially for artists and people doing things that are outside of the norm, but also people who are doing things inside, inside of what's normally accepted, you, you're gonna wake up some days and just be like, oh my God, I feel like I'm falling off a cliff. I'm terrified right now. Um, and the only advice I can, and I still to this day have to remind myself all the time that to like get acquainted with that feeling, be able to recognize it and go, oh, this is a part of my every day, every week, every month, however often it happens. And I'm gonna have to welcome it in a way, let it sit there with you, be like, okay, this means I'm actually doing something. This means that I'm, I'm doing something that does scare me, but that's okay. Because that passes, that feeling, and then something good usually comes from it. Always.